Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. My name is Adam Flint. I'm Head of Product Management here at Cutover. And in this video to our community, I'm going to give an update on two new features that are coming up in an upcoming release. I'm going to be talking about dynamic mode and instant response. Uh, two new features that I can't wait to get into this product. I can't wait for our community to start using this and giving us feedback so we can continue to iterate and orchestrate this product in a way that helps with machine and human collaboration to achieve the best possible outcomes. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about each of these runbook types, uh, what they look like in the real world with some real world examples and them in practice, and then finish off by saying how you can update to the latest version containing this release and how you can configure and work with your CS manager to make this work for your organization. So dynamic runbook, what is it? Um, in our runbooks at the moment, you can operate in kind of two modes of thought, uh, planning and execution. Uh, while you're in planning, you are creating templates, you are putting together your plans, you are starting to orchestrate what will be the thing you use for your execution, the big night, the big event, when you click that play button. But what happens when you're during that live execution and something needs to change? You, know, you need to edit something or you've spotted a mistake or new information's come to light. That has birthed the necessity for a dynamic runbook type, which essentially means while you are in a live execution, you can continue editing without the counter stopping. And what I'm gonna do now is just show you a quick demo of that. So if you've updated your version of Cutover to the latest version, which will be 341 with this releasing, uh, you'll have the ability, once you've spoken with your customer success manager, to have this runbook type available to you. So if that has been configured, if your CS manager has configured that in your settings and worked with you for naming conventions and stuff like that, when you go through any create runbook modal, you will see this dynamic runbook pop up as an option. So this has been configured in this instance, as you can see here, dynamic runbook. It's essentially the same as a normal runbook. I'm gonna start putting together one now. I'm gonna go into my own little personal planning mode now and put a bunch of stuff in, but I'm gonna pause for a moment while I do that. And as if by magic, they've all appeared. Uh, so I've got my run book now. I'm in, I've done my planning. I've put my tasks together. I am ready to execute. So I go and click on that play button. I'm going to go into live. And as you can see, the counter is running. Uh, I can start executing my tasks, but you'll notice some nuances. One is that first of all, you can see up in the pill up here, it tells you it's a dynamic run book. Uh, secondly, you can see that our add tasks without predecessors button is still available. That's because you can still keep adding tasks without predecessors if you so choose to. So I'm going to start executing some of my tasks. But anything after the point of where we are at the moment, I'm still able to add tasks or I'm able to edit them. Maybe change the type, maybe change all the different configurations we need. As you can see here, the use cases becomes a lot more exponential. Now you have the ability to edit on the fly. This is something our users have been crying out for for a long time. I'm very pleased to see it in the product. Uh, your CS manager will go through this in a little bit more detail, but essentially it does what it says on the tin. Whilst you are in that execution, you're able to keep editing, keep editing, keep doing what you need to up until the point of execution of that task. Now this, is, this has been the kernels for our next endeavor, which is instant response. Uh, the idea of this is that the ability to be able to orchestrate a response in real time, depending on an incident. So I'm gonna go back now and demo this as an incident. So we've also created a new runbook type called an incident. And again, work with your CS manager to turn this on, but a, and this is the really exciting part, an incident runbook is a new runbook type that contains new features exclusive to instant response. And those features are severity, in terms of severity uh, of an incident, a status, because we have statuses of an incident, whether they're opened or closed, etc. Uh, an activity feed, a blow by blow account of things that are happening whilst your incident is going on. And all of this is a dynamic runbook. So I'm going to show you that in action now.
Again, similar to our create flow in the past, you can create templates for your instance to be used at a later date. I'll go through the template creation in a moment, but as you can see here, here's a bunch of Rumbooks that are instance that I've created earlier. Uh, I'm going to use that as a jumping off point for my first incident using a template. So, okay, we've got an incident, let's say it's a DDoS that's going on at the moment. We're going to orchestrate a response. We're going to use our template. And you'll see the first thing that pops up is when is this happening? Because obviously sometimes a uh, an instant doesn't start at the moment we create it. Now there will be plans to iterate this and ingest from third parties. But for now, I'm just gonna show you for this purpose of this demo, let's say the instant is starting right now and we're starting it from here. So I've set the timers right now. Uh, as you can see, it's already loaded my task. It's already loaded my response that I would do to a particular instant. Now what you'll see here is some nuanced differences compared to a standard run book. Uh, first of all, in the top left hand corner, you'll see that the pill is indicating that this is an incident. Uh, you'll see in the right hand corner that the elapsed time has already started and that we have two new fields of data, uh, severity and status. Now we know that in your instant response capabilities, you're going to name your severities to your organization. And that is very much configurable within the settings of Cutover. Uh, that would be something you would work with your CS manager to say, hey, these are our severity types and these are the colors we want them to be. This is just for the demo. We've got some different names up there. But this could very much reflect your organization's instant response capabilities off the bat. So the idea is that you're able to select whatever severity you want off of that and also the status, open or closed. So let's say, okay, right, I'm in my incident. It's a live run book. I've, I've, I've got my tasks here and I'm going to start executing them as and when they happen. I'm just going to show some, some examples here. Now, let's say while you're going on, yeah, this is going on, you want to be able to see a blow by blow account of what is happening within your instant. I'm very pleased to be showing you another feature we are adding, which is called the activity stream. As you can see down the left hand corner, you are seeing this new icon. When you click on that, you come through here to this view, which is giving you that blow by blow account. And also this updates dynamically. So let's say for example, during the instant, I have changed it from severity one to severity two. As you can see, the activity feed keeps updating. Now what makes this different from a normal run book is that as you're going through your tasks, as you are completing, the run book is still dynamic, it is still live. And these additional features that I've talked about prior. But let's just say, okay, when, when is it done? When is an incident done? Um, a normal run book would be when every task has been completed. Now, maybe there's an ongoing task, maybe there's an ongoing investigation. Uh, the way you would close an incident run book is actually via this tab up here. You would come up to this drop down, you would select closed, and then it would notify you, say, hey, there's some tasks here that you need to complete. If you need not, we'll abandon them. And can you please give us a reason as to why? And for now, I'll just put demo for the purpose of this video. But as you can see, as with any other run book, it closes the run book. It gives you the ability to give, give a score uh, for our feedback. It's really important we get this sort of stuff. And also the standard features which you already have within a run book are also available for you. So the post implementation report, the dashboard capabilities and the multi run book dashboard capabilities that you expect within the product. Really excited to be getting this into the hands of our users, really eager to hear your feedback, how you're using this. Um, the way we would turn this on is it would be a conversation between you and your customer success manager. We'll be talking about what templates you might already have, the standard run books, how we can migrate them for you into an incident run book type. How maybe you want to start migrating stuff from other places into this, how you can start putting those plans together. There might be other use cases where it's not necessarily an incident, but you can see there's other use cases you can use this where we can configure the dynamic run book type to be able to enable that. I'm really, really excited for this to be here. I can't wait to hear your feedback off of this. Uh, please speak to your customer success manager. They'll have this available in a demo environment to talk this through with you. Thank you very much.